another video if you're just joining me now don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also follow me over on instagram if you haven't already today i'm going to be doing a video in collaboration with amazing beauty hair so they kindly sent me over some hair extensions because i absolutely love trying hair extensions if you've watched me before i have tried the beauty works clip-ins i've had the beauty works tape-ins however I'm now trying the Amazing Beauty hair extensions. So obviously it did come more nicely packaged than this. I'll insert a quick photo when I first opened it. But inside you get a little bag to obviously keep the hair in. You get given a comb which is very helpful because I use these combs all the time just to like section off my hair and do a part in. You get given one of these clips to obviously section your hair and this clip is actually really good because it's really sturdy I don't actually own a clip like this so it's very practical you get given two spare little clips just in case yours fall off or you lose them or anything and then obviously you get the hair I've um, unwrapped this it did come netted and tied up just for reference I got the shade number four which is 160 grams and 20 inches so this hair that i'm going to show you that i'm going to put in my hair it retails for 169 dollars on their website however there is always a discount so currently at the moment there's like 12 percent off i think and they also have their own rewards program that you can sign up to and Get discounts if you are interested in purchasing this hair of course so with these specific hair extensions that I got you get two two clip-ins you get one four clip you get three three clips however I'm not sure if you can tell but so with these clip-ins this one is actually longer by like two centimeters I don't know if you can notice that I'm not even sure why but these ones are more spaced out than this one I'm not sure if that's done on purpose or whatever but you do get a slightly longer one of these so you get three of those in total and then you get four single clip-ins so altogether this is 160 grams of hair with my previous extensions if you have watched those videos i ordered 22 inches originally in my hair and these are 20 inches however i think i might cut them i'm not going to do them. i'm not going to cut them in this video because i because my hair is brown and I haven't dyed it before, I feel like it looks more natural if I get the same length. But without further ado, I'm going to give these a go. I have got them out of the packaging just to make sure they match my hair. And they are very, they are the closest match possible. I'm not sure if you can tell. It's a really bad comparison, but they do match my hair the closest match on the website and it's really annoying because I can I can understand it can be quite difficult to match your hair but literally just choose a few narrow it down and chances are that it will match and even if it doesn't match it still it can still blend in your hair I mean this is slightly more reddish than my natural hair I'm not sure if you can tell but it will still blend nicely hopefully now when it comes to clip-ins I do find it quite difficult to put in my own hair just because they always tend to show at the back so I'm going to have to be really cautious and careful when I'm doing this. I also forgot to say that these are 100% human Remy hair so that means you can cut them, obviously dye them, you can curl them, use heat on them and I'm going to curl them after I've, after I've popped them in my hair just to show you how they how well they curl and stuff so i'm not actually going to show you how i put them in myself because it's going to be quite difficult for me to film and i'm guessing that you don't if you need a tutorial on how to put them in then i'm sure there's loads of other videos on youtube that you can watch because it's literally going to be the same whatever brand of clippings you're using so go check out another video if you want to know how to pop them in because i'm not professional i don't really know what i'm doing <laughs> so i'm just gonna pop them in my hair I will probably start with like a free piece at the bottom and then maybe another free piece and then the four piece. I'll let you know afterwards what order I do it in but it's obviously different for everyone's head because everyone's got a different size head and yeah. 
So just one section of my hair, I've just noticed Eclipses, Tony and Guy. And if you don't know who Tony and Guy are, there are hairdressers. So I'm not actually sure why it says Tony and Guy on this clip, if anyone knows. Be sure to let me know, but I'm just sectioning my hair currently. And this is so far what I've done. I don't know if you can, oh, there's a mirror here. This is what I'm using to like section my hair. So I've gone literally as furthest down as I can and obviously brush it and then what you're going to do is a little bit of advice you basically back comb near to the root so when you hook the clips in they have more grip and if you want extra grip then hairspray them just to keep them in a little bit longer but that is all the tips I have for putting them in at the moment so I've just finished popping in the clippings and first impressions oh my god like they look incredible. I absolutely love them. Like, it looks like my natural hair. Tell me what you guys think. I'm Obviously, I'm going to curl it because I think hair extensions look better curled. But even having it straight, like, it doesn't even look that bad. I don't know what I was expecting, but I am thoroughly impressed. Let me just show you the back. Um, I haven't done it obviously to professional standards so you might be able to still see them but if I was to put them in and actually go out in them obviously I'd get a friend or my mum to help me pop them in and make sure you can't see them but like just pop that here so this is what it's looking like like wow I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Now, when I had the Beauty Works ones, obviously they are 10 times more expensive. Actually, no, that's a lie, they're not. It depends which one you get. But the ones I had before were really, like, heavy in my hair. Not heavy, but, like, in comparison to these, I, I'd 100% go for these because they are cheaper. Anyway, I am thoroughly impressed. I think these look amazing, and... Considering you don't have to have an exact colour hair match, obviously it's got to be as close as possible. Anyway, I'm going to curl them now using these Beauty Works hair curlers. Just because it has a long barrel and it hopefully will give a nice curl to these hair extensions. Pop them on to 220. Honestly, I am so happy with this hair. Like, honestly it looks so good. I don't even know if I want to cut them now because they're actually a good length and when you curl them they're obviously going to go up higher. I'm like, you can't actually tell my real hair. I mean, you might be able to, but I can't. I just think they look so good. I'm really impressed. Do, do, do. I'm not sure if I'm going to curl every single strand just because I'm not, I'll be here for about 10 hours, but you'll see the effect and I'll tell you what it's like but I'm really impressed like the hair extensions themselves feel such good quality they feel they feel really soft and they just feel really nice they actually curl really well like can you see that first curl and like it's still yeah I'm not gonna cut them I've decided I don't want to ruin the length because they're actually perfect. Um, obviously, I should hairspray them, but actually, no, I will. Okay, I'm just going to be using this L'Oreal L Net Super Supreme Hold hairspray. I normally use the Swartz Cough Got to Be glued hairspray. Don't know if that's how you say it, but you know what I mean. Okay, just spray them a little bit. Yeah, I'm only going to curl a few more strands just because I actually think, not that I prefer them straight, but I think they actually look alright straight and I didn't realise that they would look good straight, so that's why I thought I'd curl them. But I'll just curl a few strands just to let you know how well they curl. So obviously I've gone right under this time and that's the length of the hair extension and that is the length of it curled however i'm going to brush them out so they will be a bit longer so this is like the bottom section of it curled i'm just going to pop a bit of hairspray on it i'm just going to brush them out for you 
Do, 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 do. First of all, when you brush curls out, you should really use um, a comb like this, like a wide tooth comb, just because you don't lose much of the curl. So I'm just gonna use this to start with and then to show you how it looks. So these are the curls I like. I just like soft waves. But I'm gonna use this brush now. <laughs> and then, yeah, you get that kind of look. Brush this out slightly. Oh, I love that. I love that curl. I'm gonna curl a bit more just so you can tell that there's a slight wave to it. Yeah, it's just a... Okay, that's just fallen out. <gasps> of your head? No, of the hair extension. Oh. And that's literally it, it's just she walked in, but I've literally just pulled that out, but nevertheless, still going strong. They look good though. Yeah, they actually do. They look good. How much would they have been? $169. Are they cheaper or kind of like the same? Um, Kind of like the same. Obviously, Beauty Works are a little bit more expensive, mm. but... I feel like with them, you're paying for the name as well though. Yeah. I want that curling wand. Those curls are coming out well good. You yeah, but remember like they they look better on longer hair. True. Because they'll fall out otherwise if you've got shorter hair. Yeah. But like even if it's like not the exact colour, they're still blending your hair at the end of the day. Yeah. I feel like it is easier. Like, these are more reddish than my natural hair. Mm. But I do it think still it's works. easier to get to match like darker colours. I think it's easier. Yeah, I feel like with blonde, no. there's so many different types of blonde because there's like... Yeah, but you can dye your hair different colours of blonde and then, you know. No, I think blonde's easier to match than brown. I don't. Because some blondes, like, have loads of different, like, different streaks and tones in it. Whereas brown, like, you can't really dye your hair different types of brown, so it's easy to match because brown's pretty much a standard colour. Do you know what I mean? Mm, I guess so. I also just wanted to quickly mention that you do get a little um, leaflet inside just explaining you some instructions and how to care for them and returns policy and just like washing them and all things like that. I know I didn't mention it in the main video but I just wanted to mention it now and I'm going to get my friend to quickly show you what the hair extensions look like just so you can see them in action. Yeah. Okay. So this is what they look like in action they literally blend so nicely with my hair even though they're not spot on with the hair color they still look amazing but uh, yeah they do they look really good yeah thumbs up from me so this is the finished look i absolutely love what they've turned out and just like the overall quality and oh god just the hair extension themselves i'm thoroughly impressed with I, I didn't think i was going to be that impressed with them but i honestly really am and i highly recommend them for anyone looking for a nice affordable hair extension so again thank you so much to amazing beauty hair extensions for sending me these hair to try out i absolutely love them and i'm definitely going to be wearing them in the future over on my instagram so if I've got longer hair, you know why. I don't actually wear any other hair extensions anymore. Sold my Beauty Works clip-ins and I don't wear my tapes. So it will be these that I'm wearing, if I am. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. And also follow me over on Instagram if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!